All right, let's look at a problem using T here. So <clears throat> we have this problem here. Almost all employees working for financial companies in New York City receive large bonuses at the end of the year. A sample of 75 employees selected from financial companies in New York City show that they received an average bonus of $61,300 last year with a standard deviation of $20,000. Constructed 99% confidence interval for the average bonus. Round your answers to sense. Okay, so I know that this needs to be a T because I am given a sample of 75 employees and within that sample, I'm given a sample standard deviation. So when you are given a sample standard deviation, you need to use T. So sample standard deviation we use T. Okay, so let's write out what we have. So we have a sample size of 75. We have a mean, sample mean of 61,300. And we have a sample standard deviation S of 20,000. We want a 99% confidence interval using the T table. All right, so we need to find what we're looking up in the T table. So 99%, that's gonna be our alpha. So our alpha here is gonna be 0.99. To find what we're looking up in the T table, we wanna go one minus alpha divided by two, because we need to get one of the tails. Okay, so it's gonna be one minus 0.99 divided by two. All right, so that is going to give us, let's see, one minus 0.99 divided by 2.005. Okay, so that's gonna give us one side of the tail in our T table. Then we want our degrees of freedom. So our degrees of freedom is gonna be sample size minus one. So 75 minus one is 74. So in our t-table, we want to look up one tail, 0 0.005, and 74. The issue is that when I do look up in a typical t-table, let me see if I can paste one over here, I don't have 74 degrees of freedom. In fact, once I get past 30, the typical sample size, I'm going with arbitrary values. So you have a couple of options here. Here's your 0 0.005. You can pick one that is close to that. It's not going to be super accurate. 2.639 there um, is going to be a little bit off. There is also a calculator, which I will send you guys a link, but um, here it is that you can pull up. It's just ttable.org, and then you can put T value calculator in Google and it'll come right up. Okay, so you can just put that in here. Your degrees of freedom is 74, and we have a significance level. 0.005. Okay, then hit calculate. And then here's what you're going to get. So this is one tail because we already divided by two. Okay, so we're using 2.6439. Okay, that's going to be our T value. <clears throat> All right, so we have our T value that we're using. And if we just compare that, let me see, what did we have for the other one here? Two, here's my 0 0.005, two points. So if I use the one next to 80 or 60, it might be close within a couple of dollars and you'd probably be okay. Um, just as long as you indicated that you use that on the test. But also you can check it in your calculator, which we're gonna do, and we should get fairly close. All right, um, so what we want to do here is we want to first find the margin of error. Okay, so our margin of error is going to be given to us by T times the sample standard deviation over the square root of our sample size. Okay, so we get our T value 2439 times our standard deviation, 20,000, over the square root 
of 75. So let's go ahead and get that. And then we'll go in parentheses here. We've got 20,000 divided by the square root of 75. Close the square root. Close the fraction. So $6,105.83. Okay, so that's our margin of error. Then we want our confidence interval. So our confidence interval is the margin of error. No, it's not, sorry. It is the X bar plus or minus the margin of error. So let's go ahead and do that. So our X bar is 61,300 plus or minus the 6105.83. So let's find this confidence interval here. So 61,300 minus 6105.83 gives us 55,194 and 17 cents. And then 61,300 plus 6105.83, we get 67,405. And I believe that was 83 cents. So that is our confidence interval. Now let's go ahead and check that in our calculator. So I'm going to go in my calculator, I'm going to go to stat, and then I'm going to go over to tests, and I'm going to go to my Z, or sorry, my T interval, hit enter, and then I'm going to put my data in there. So I already put this in here, 61,300 is our X bar, 20,000 is our sample standard deviation, 75 is our sample size, and we have a confidence level of 99. Calculate. And we get 55,194, 67,406. So these are rounded. So you're not gonna get to two decimal places here, so you might be slightly off if you do a new calculator, um, depending on what the question is actually asking you for. So these are just rounded. These are the precise answers here.